up guys welcome back to my channel in case I look a little bit weird in today's video I actually just finished filming my seven minute foundation or not foundation my seven minute makeup routine so that's why my makeup might look a little bit weird not gonna lie I do this a lot while I film so you guys might think that I don't look all that different at all but it's a little bit different if you guys want to see my seven minute makeup routine I am going to post that video down below I'm also filming in my living room today and my dogs they, sh they just want to hang out around me so this is Chuchi. This is my parents' dog. He's just visiting for a couple of weeks. And you guys already know Rocco. And then uh, my other Chihuahua is taken over by my parents. And she became their baby. So she's at their house right now. And it's a sensitive subject. So we're just not going to talk about it. Anyway, I figured that for today's video, what I wanted to do was come out with my must-have products from Sephora. Because a lot of you guys, I'm sure, already know that the VIB sale is coming out. I believe it's from the 7th to the 15th and you can get 15% off. I literally just got the email and I was like, oh my God, I need to film this video and let my people know because Sephora hardly ever has sales. Like nothing goes on sale at Sephora. And in all honesty, I really feel like I'm the type of person that you guys are gonna want to see this video from because I am not one of those people that feel like everything is worth splurging on. If I buy something at Sephora, it's because the reviews are amazing or I think that it's amazing. I have very, very high hopes for it because most of the time I feel like you can, look at this dog, of course, he gotta be scratching in the back of my video. Come on, son. Can we chill? Be back there, do your thing, just relax, okay? I won't bother you, you don't bother me, okay. Basically what I'm trying to say is the majority of my whole makeup collection is not from Sephora. So everything that I have picked up from Sephora, I basically love and trust me I am first in line to return something if I don't like it because if I spend a lot of money on something I work hard for my money I want to love it so I have a couple of products here that I'm gonna show you guys that I feel would be great buys for the VIB sale if you're looking to kind of stock up pick some things up it's also a great time to pick up your favorites and that is exactly what I'm going to be doing so what I'm gonna be doing is starting off with some skincare products and I'm gonna move on to makeup some lip products last and then we're gonna do some perfume so the first thing that I want to talk about is a skin cleanser that has literally saved my skin. I use that term very loosely because honestly Accutane saved my skin but after finishing up Accutane I still had a little bit of I want to say these little blackheads that wanted to pop out on my forehead and they kind of felt like braille. They're either blackheads or whiteheads. My skin just, it got a little bit irritated and kind of had a rash on it. And I picked this stuff up on a whim. This is by First Aid Beauty and it's called their Deep Cleanser with Red Clay. I love this stuff so much. I have gone through about two bottles of this so far. If you're looking for a really good skin cleanser, I absolutely recommend this one. I really love anything from the First Aid Beauty line. I know that you guys want to see an updated nighttime routine or an updated skincare routine and you guys will see a lot of First Aid Beauty products in that video just because they're very natural and a lot of their products have oatmeal in it and I have a weird obsession with putting oatmeal on my skin now because it's really really good for your skin. So, And I'm going to show you guys something else that has oatmeal in it. So first again from First Aid Beauty, or second from First Aid Beauty I should say, is the Facial Radiance Polish Exfoliate, Purify, and Brighten. Safe for sensitive skin. And basically what this is, is just their version of a facial exfoliator. I use this every single day, and I use this probably twice a week just to kind of get rid of all the dead skin cells, all the buildup, all that stuff from throughout the week. You guys know that I wear makeup a lot, so the combination of these two things have been amazing for my skin. The last Last thing that I want to show you guys is also again from First Aid Beauty and this is the one that has oatmeal in it. This is what I use every single day as my facial moisturizer. It's called the Ultra Repair... Repair <laughs> I cannot ever say this word. The Ultra Repair. I don't know why I want to say Repair. The Ultra Repair Cream. And the one that I got is in the little small bottle. If you get the bigger version, it comes in a tub, but I kind of like the little squeezy bottle. And this is only like 12 bucks, and it lasts me a pretty long time. Now this is what I use every single morning underneath my makeup. It wears great underneath makeup. It's not greasy, does not make me look oily. And I also use it every single night as my nighttime moisturizer. No, 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 no. No, do not start barking. Sit down, sit, Chuchi, Chuchi, sit. Why are you trying to embarrass me? Hey. Sit down, fool. So again, this product does have oatmeal in it and it says that it's great for skin that has eczema, for skin that has minor irritations, different type of conditions. It's a really, really good gentle product and 
end in between these two steps you guys know that I do my regular oatmeal mask where I actually use raw oatmeal I'll post that video down below but obviously that's not something that you can pick up at Sephora so I'm not gonna be talking about that in today's video next thing that I want to move on to is the primer that I believe is worth picking up from Sephora the thing is I have such sensitive skin that just about everything breaks me out and I have such a hard time finding a primer that does not break out my skin. If you guys have the same exact problem as I do, I highly recommend the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Now I'm not gonna say that this blurs out your pores and makes your skin look as flawless and your makeup lasts as long as like say, the Benefit Pore Professional or the Dr. Brand's Pores No More. Obviously that stuff is a lot more high duty, is that a word, high duty, high coverage? Wait, what am I, what am I trying to say? Heavy duty, that stuff is a lot more heavy duty and it is going to give your skin an even more flawless finish but I feel like if you have very sensitive skin and you don't want to put something that heavy on your face that a primer water like this one will do wonders. Now the next product that I'm going to move on to is actually the only foundation that I have ever really fallen in love with and bought so so many times at Sephora because I've dabbled here and there but honestly, I've never been through a full bottle unless it's this stuff. And this is the Sephora Airbrush Foundation. I think that this stuff is so amazing for a flawless finish. I'm not gonna lie, I do like to put it over another foundation because if I want a really, really flawless finish, I want full coverage. And I don't get really full coverage with this stuff, but I put this over whatever my favorite foundation is. I kind of just missed it over. And it seriously looks, it's an airbrush foundation and it makes your skin look absolutely flawlessly airbrushed matte like kind of like a porcelain doll I feel like this is what I'm gonna be using for my upcoming wedding anytime that I have a special event or a time that I know that I'm gonna be taking pictures I do buy this I'm in the shade medium but I heard that they did kind of switch up the shades definitely worth checking out and of course there's another train passing it's so rude okay we're good so the next product that I want to talk about is another foundation but this one is not a typical why do I have to have a phone call right now? Hello? Hey, what are you doing? Hey, I'm just finishing up uh, filming a video. You want to say hi? Oh, hi. All right, so I will call you back. I'm going over my top picks from Sephora. Because that VIB sale is about to happen, everything is going to be 15% off. So you know it's a good time. Yeah, you're on camera right now. This is a very important video. It's going to be 15% off at Sephora. Do you know how often that happens? Come on, move it! What? Sorry, traffic. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'll, I'll call you as soon as I'm done. I love you. Traffic. And then there's a truck here blocking the traffic. I don't, I don't understand the logic of these people driving in New York City. All right, my love. I'll see you when I'm done filming my video. I'll call you. I'll call you. All right. All right. Love you. Bye. It's just one of those days, guys. What I'm gonna go on to next is another foundation, but this is a powder foundation. It's not a liquid foundation. It's not a spray foundation. It's not a cream foundation. It's a powder foundation, and it is seriously one of the most amazing things I have ever put on my face. This is by Urban Decay, and it's called their Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation. Now this was on a whim. Basically, I came up with a Christmas list for my fiance and I wanted the Naked Skin Foundation, the actual liquid one. He didn't really know what I was talking about. He got a little bit confused and he picked up the powder foundation. You guys can see that it's basically completely gone already. I was like, you know what? He got it as a gift. Let me just try it. Let me see if I like it. I fell in love with it. It gives, again, an airbrush finish. I have a video where I use this alone. I think, actually, no, wait, I think I'm lying. And I'm sorry, I'm like almost out. So I need to buy another one so I can come out with that video for you guys. But I would use this so many times just as a foundation and it covered everything. And then there has also been some times that I use it over a liquid foundation and again, flawless, full coverage finish. So I'm telling you guys, Urban Decay and the Sephora Airbrush Foundation, I really want to try the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. That is a part of my wish list. Let me know if you guys like that product. So next what I want to talk about are bronzers and highlighters. Pretty much I'm the type of person when I find something that I like, I don't really play around with it that much. Like if I like it, I'm going to stick with it. So the bronzer that I have been using ever since I picked it up, and it has to be about at least four months ago, is this one by Hourglass. It's called their Ambient, uh, what is this? The Lighting Bronzer and Luminous Bronze Light. And I really like this stuff because 
it's a bronzer that has a little bit of like shimmer to it so it gives your face that JLo glow it makes you look very very healthy it's not super super matte but it's not like a shimmery bronzer that you can't put all over it's the perfect mixture of both so I love this it's on the expensive side I think it's like 50 or 60 dollars but you're getting 15 percent off so let that be your excuse along with the hourglass line is the diffused light lighting powder and this is actually something that's very very different than any other product that I've seen because it is a highlighter but it's a matte highlighter you can use this all over your face to kind of just set your foundation up and brighten up your entire face but I like to use it on those days when I want to look really natural Rocco just almost killed himself jumping up on the couch are you okay my love you getting comfy all right good if you don't want to use it all over your face you can actually use it as a matte highlight it looks very very natural but it gives your face a very sculpted look so I really do love this stuff just play around with it if you pass it in Sephora and my highlight I have to definitely get another one because this one just broke this week I was so angry when it happened the only highlight that I've been able to use since I bought it again the Becca I don't even know the name of it what is it the champagne pop uh, champagne pop highlight Jaclyn Hill Becca that's all you need to know amazing simply amazing it has the most beautiful peachy shade to it which normally I would not think that I would like a peachy highlight I'm not wearing this today because I got my seven minute face on today but I'm telling you guys play around with this at Sephora it is absolutely gorgeous no matter what your skin tone is next up is one of the only palettes that I'm going to show you guys today because I feel like palettes I don't know I don't have a lot of them I do have a lot of them from Sephora but a lot of them were sent to me in PR and I did not send I did not spend my own money on them and in all honesty I probably would not have so I did not want to show those to you guys this one I did spend my own money on this is by Kat Von D love her line I feel like she just really gets pigment and makeup and she knows what she's doing is what I'm trying to say. But the Shade and Light palette, I really, really love it to highlight and contour. A lot of these shades right here are great for brightening up underneath your eyes. And these shades right here, you can either use them as bronzers or to contour. I really love the formula because it's very super buttery and creamy. They're powders, but they're very easy to work with. And I feel like it's great for a beginner that doesn't know really where to start in the whole contour, highlighting, bronzing world. Okay, so next we're gonna finish up with the uh, with the powders. The next one that I want to talk about is a Too Faced Primed and Poreless Press Powder, and this is a skin smoothing priming powder and finishing veil. So I guess you can use a powder as a primer. I never really did that because I don't know. It seems a little bit weird to me. But what I use this for is a fit. Okay, I'm getting all types of tongue tied. I'm twisted everything wrong with me today let's say that again a finishing veil I feel like this is the most amazing finishing veil whether I am wearing a powder foundation a liquid foundation a cream foundation I go ahead and I set this all over and it blurs my pores out any fine lines any imperfections I feel like this is an Instagram filter over my face in a makeup form it is amazing it transforms my makeup and I also love to always keep one of these in my purse just to kind of touch up it does not add any type of coverage it doesn't add any color but it takes away the shine and it just blurs out your pores and makes your skin look really even and flawless so I really do love this stuff next we are going to move on to concealer and eyebrows the only concealer in my phone is blowing up again I'm gonna I gotta put this on silent I don't know if any of you guys look the phone is on silent but for some reason it still rings I don't know if I'm the only one that has that problem Let me throw that over there the only concealer that I will probably pick up from Sephora for the rest of my life is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer it is absolutely amazing it covers everything and it brightens up at the same time mine is in the shade light warm I don't know what to say about this concealer other than it is so pigmented it does not crease do you guys understand it does not crease in the fine lines underneath my eyes it brightens it up it covers the dark circles I love it this is probably one of my most favorite makeup items that I own ever I love it so so much I have to pick up like 20 backups of this then the Anastasia Beverly Hills tinted brow gel now normally you would think a brow gel doesn't really do much it just holds your hairs in place but I really like this one because it is tinted and on those days like today where I don't want to go in with a brow powder or a brow pencil I will just go over with this and it just redefines my eyes I use the shade espresso I believe there is one that is a little bit darker than this called graphite I want to say but I feel like I don't even need to go that dark and I have black hair I feel 
feel like it just really defines my eyebrows so so nicely it definitely keeps them in place and even though my eyebrows are tattooed I still feel like when I do my foundation I get the foundation and powder on my brows and I still have to like redefine them so really love this stuff I have no need to try any other brow um not brow powder I have no need to find any other brow gel because this one does the job and it is amazing at it now we're going to talk about lips Speaking about that wish list, I want like every single one of the new Anastasia liquid lipsticks. I really want them so, so bad. Why is my phone going off so much? This is a problem. I have ADD today, you guys. I am so sorry. Anyway, speaking of the Anastasia Beverly Hills, my most favorite liquid lipstick from Sephora is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I feel like I said that like 20 hundred times already. The Pure Hollywood Liquid Lipstick love it this is a great every single day shade it's the perfect mixture of peachy pinky mauvey the reason that i would say go with the pure hollywood shade is because you can really alter the way that this liquid lipstick looks depending on what liner you pair it with so if you want it to look a little bit more purpley mauvey use that type of lip liner. If you want it to look a little bit more brown or burgundy, use that type of lip liner. I feel like it's very versatile. Something that I reach for so, so much and I feel like I'm going to have 100 backups of this sometime in my life because I just don't ever want to run out of it. Another one that I have been loving and I'm dropping things, I've been loving this lately and getting so many questions from you guys on Instagram what I'm wearing every single time I put this on my lips. Stila Muse liquid lipstick. I am not sure if this shade is discontinued. I picked it up at my local Sephora, but a lot of you guys have been letting me know that you have been having a hard time finding it. So I'm not sure if I really should be mentioning that today, but if you happen to pass Muse in the liquid lipstick by Stila, try it on. It's the most gorgeous mauvey pink color with like a little bit of an undertone of a lavender to it. Absolutely beautiful, especially for the springtime. And the last two products that I'm going to mention today is a game changer right here. This is the only liquid liner that I have used for about the past Christmas time because this was another Christmas gift. The Kat Von D Tattoo Liner changed the game. I used to swear my swear by my physician's formula liquid liner, but the thing is it would run out every single, I would say three weeks and I would have to pick up a new one. I use this every single day and I'm telling you, it has no signs at all of fading out. I have heard so many people say that this one in particular, the tattoo liner, lasts for so, so long. It has a felt tip. It's very dark. It's really pigmented. It does not smudge. It's my every single day go-to. So I love it. Highly recommend it. And last but not least, my favorite perfume at the moment. This is by Chanel. It's called the Coco Mademoiselle. It's definitely kind of like a splurge type of perfume since it is on the expensive side but I am so bad at describing scents it's just it smells so sexy and sophisticated and I smelled this on somebody once and ever since then I have been addicted to the scent I went up to this woman and I was like what did that seriously just happen my camera just died on me because apparently I talk too much <laughs> but basically what I was trying to say is I basically stalked this woman down to ask her what she was wearing because she smelled so delicious and ever since I picked it up and I have been obsessed with the scent so again it is the Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel love it it is amazing and that is everything that i wanted to share with you guys these are the products that i feel are holy grail chuchi stop sneezing i'm almost done here i'm wrapping it up okay you guys know how i am if i'm going to invest in a high-end product it's because i really stand behind it and again i didn't want to show you guys anything that was sent to me by pr these are all products that i bought with my own money and that i highly recommend so i'm going to put my wish list down below in case any of you guys chooch stop scratching i have like 15 seconds left for this outro. Can you please just hang in there? Hmm. What I was going to say is that this video is getting extra long. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my wish list down below in case any of you guys are interested in what my wish list is for this VIB sale, what I think I'm going to be picking up. But in all honesty, but in all honestly, but in all honestly, But in all honesty, I think that I'm just going to be picking up backups of everything that I mentioned today in today's video because these products are holy grail. Let me know if you have tried any of them out or if you have any recommendations for me. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.